Hey, what's up partners? Now we're here in this uh, session na pag-uusapan naman natin about minimum corporate income tax. So kakatapos natin na, na natin na, na um, i-take up yung ano yung tinatawag na um, regular corporate income tax yung 30%. No, so if you want to check out that video, I placed the link in this somewhere in this uh, in this video, no? So uh, this time, we're going to take up yung minimum corporate income tax. Ano ba itong minimum corporate income tax? Well, to give you a, a, a brief introduction dito sa minimum corporate income tax, ito yung tax na inaalaw na, na dun sa mga no, dun sa mga corporations, particularly domestic corporation, after the fourth year of operations. Kasi normally, for the first three years of its operations, no naglo-loss pa sila because well alam naman natin no yung learning curve ng ng company pag nag-uumpisa pa lang eh, hindi pag masyado silang uh, bihasa dun sa operation so that's why uh, kumbaga mas malaki pa yung uh, yung operating expense nila saka yung cost nila kaysa dun sa revenue and of course nagiging ano yun no? so so pagka no ang nangy ang, ang nangyayari doon is that Pagka mas malaki yung cost and expenses mo kasi dun sa revenue, nagkakaroon ka ng loss. E ano yung magiging basihan mo ng tax sa po income? Negative, wala. So, wala kang babayaran tax. So, hindi naman pumahayag yung BIR doon. So, sa ikaapat na taon nila, ito, bibigyan na sila ng ano na, kumbaga, na, ano, na, uh, kumbaga, i-allow na silang magbayad ng tax based on the minimum corporate income tax na nakabase dun sa gross income instead of dun sa taxable income. So, in other words, hindi pa binabawasan yung operating expense ng company. Ang ibinabawas lang dun sa, sa gross income is yung direct expense. Na yung bang, kumbaga yung bang, ito yung tinatawag na cost of goods sold, yun binabawas yun para maka-arrive ka dun sa um, sa gross income or in the case of uh, services ito yung mga cost of services direct cost of services na ibinabawas dun sa revenue no para maka-arrive ka dun sa gross income and then from there on saka mo i-compute yung 2% na minimum corporate income tax and then kung hindi naman loss yung ano yung uh, yung taxable income mo pagkukumparahin mo kung sino yung mas malaking amount the higher between uh, minimum corporate income tax and the regular corporate income tax. So, yun yung magiging income tax nyo mo. Now, to further illustrate that, there's a a, a problem here that I've uh, prepared. No? So, be a domestic corporation is a service enterprise. In its fourth year of operations, it had the following. So, gross revenues, 900,000. Discount and allowances, 50,000. So, ibabawas natin yan. Dito. Salaries of service personnel, 160,000. So, ito yung ano, kumbaga direct cost to. Depreciation of equipment in rendering services, that's 10,000. Baka sa nagagamit yun dun sa, ano, sa parang direct cost rin yan. So, rental of office, 140,000. Supplies used, yan. Light and water, repairs, and other operating expense. So, itong other operating expense, hindi na natin sasali yan. So, ito lang yung pag-compute nyo. No? Simple lang yan. So, lagay natin dito, gross revenues. So, gross revenues. Yan. So, this is 900,000. Tapos, less discounts and allowances. So, this is 50,000. So, this would be 850,000. Okay, so this is uh, net na. Net revenues. Now, from the net revenues, no, ililess natin dito yung direct costs. Now, ano-ano itong mga direct costs na to? Okay, so ito lang yun, no? Ito. Salaries of service personnel so that is around uh, 160,000 pesos and the next after that this is the depreciation of the 
depreciation of equipment. Okay, that would be, so this is used in rendering service, so direct cost yan, in other words, no? So this would be 10,000. And then, yung, ano, yung, uh, yung rental of office, so kasama rin yun sa direct expense, rental of office, that's uh, 140,000. Take note that this is a service company, no? So, pagkaiba to sa manufacturing company, so yung iniisip natin na cost of goods sold, no? does not necessarily apply dito sa services kasi yung yung direct cost ng services iba dun sa sa manufacturing so rental of office uh, that's 140,000 this is supplies supplies used this is 12,000 and then light a brief date na lang natin ha? and water and telephone that's 55,000 and repairs okay so this is for 5,000 now hindi na natin kasama to kasi other operating expense no ano na yan kumbaga that's indirect expense so add lang natin yan no so upon adding that no uh, we will get that's about um Okay, 382,000. Huh? 382,000. Paano ko na kuha yun? Basta 382,000. Well, just add lang natin yan. We'll just add this. Huh? This 160. Okay, so um, city lang yan. Huh? So 160. 160 plus 10. Tatanggalin na natin yung mga, ano, yung mga 000, no? So, plus 140, plus 12, plus 55, plus 5. Yes, so that's 382,000. Now, so this would be your total direct costs. Now, i-ano natin, i-less natin from the 850,000. So we will get 468,000. This is your gross income. Now this is now the basis for your 2% um, 2 tax or minimum corporate income tax. So times 0 0.02, this would be 9,000. So times 2%, this would be, uh, this is the MCIT or minimum corporate income tax. So this is 9,360. Okay, so for again 468,000 times 0 0.02. So 9,360. So this is your MCIT. So now, kung kukunin natin yung ano, yung uh, yung yung RCIT or or regular corporate tax rate na 30%, ito yung direct cost. So ito yung since ito yung gross income nila, so Ima minus lang natin from the gross income yung other operating expense. So kunin na lang natin, no? So this is 468 gross income, 468,000 less Okay, less yung ano yung other operating expense, no? Other operating expense of 110,000. So if we get the total of that one, now so let's uh, just try to lean that forward. So 468,000, 468, okay, uh, less 110. So that would be 358,000. So this is, would be multiplied by 30%. Ito yung regular corporate income tax. Regular corporate income tax or RCIT. So, this is multiplied by times 0.3. You would have, well, mas malaki. No? So, ang babayaran niya na, na tax dyan, definitely based dun sa RCIT. Not yung ano. Kasi, kasi the tax due should be the higher between the RCIT or or uh, regular corporate income tax and the 
MCIT or minimum corporate income tax. So, kung mas mataas, of course, yun yung babayaran. Now, we're going to look for um, do another uh, example, no? So, just stay tuned. Okay, so moving forward dito sa second example natin, no? So, I prepared two more examples, no? So, bilis, no? So, this one, let's take up yung uh, example number one of two examples, no? So, C company, this is, uh, by the way, still uh, the minimum corporate income tax pa rin. C company had a gross profit from sales of 500,000 and a gain on sale of an asset of 100,000. So, sinasama yun. So, kung ano yung, aside from this uh, sa gross profit, isasama pa yung yung pagbebenta ro ng asset ng 100,000 so para total niya is 600,000. Business expenses were 400,000 so ito naman ibabawas naman to in order to get the taxable income para doon sa um, RCIP or, or or regular income tax. How much was the income tax for the year if it is in the fourth year of operations? Again, yung MCIP nag-i-start yan after yung ano beginning fourth year of the operations. No so yung ano na yan, ang tinatanong dito how much is yung, yung income tax kung, kung magkano yung income tax now, pag sinabing yung, kung magkano yung income tax is that ang ano dito, ang pinaglalabanan dito the higher between MCIP or the minimum corporate income tax or the regular tax no? so, gawin natin ito so, lagay natin dito gross gross profit so, this one is 500,000. Add natin. Add natin yung sale of asset. Yan. Sale of asset. Yan. So, this one is 100,000. So, add natin total. This would be 600,000. And then, after that, so, i-less natin dito yung business expenses of how much? This is 400,000. Okay, so for for a balance of uh, 200,000. This would be the taxable income. Taxable income or the net income. No? Net income. Yung mga pagkabinabawas na yung operating expenses. So, let's try to compute here. No? So, ito yung ano nila. No, giving this data. So, computing natin yung RCI, RC, RT. No, RT means uh, regular tax. I guess the regular tax. Or, lagi na lang natin normal tax. Normal tax na lang. Normal tax. Normal tax. Or NT. Yan. So, ang computation dito is based on the taxable income. So, 200,000 times 30%. Ito yun. Because the, the corporate tax rate is uh, 30%. So, this is 200 times 0.3 that would give you 60,000. And dito naman yung uh, MCIT or minimum corporate income tax, no? MCIT, this would be ang basis niya dito naman which is 600,000. So 600,000 times 2%. Okay, so 600 times 0 0.02. So lumalabas dito 12,000. Now, ano lang yung tax dito niya? the higher between minimum corporate income tax and the normal tax. So, dito sa, sa case na to, mas mataas itong 60,000 kaysa 12,000. So, ito yung tax dyan niya. This one, yung 60,000. Yung pangalawang example naman. So, dito naman, the company had a gross profit from sales of 800,000. So, dito natin yan. Of 800,000 and a gain on sale of um, asset of 190,000. Business expenses were 940,000. Ang oh, laki ng business expenses niya. No. So, tignan natin. How much was the income tax for the year? If it is in the fifth year of operation. Pero hindi pa rin siya makakalusot sa BIR. No? Kasi merong MCIT. So, ganito lang yun. No? So, gross profit. Gross profit. No? That would be um, 800,000. Tapos, add natin, okay, add natin dyan yung gain, uh, gain on sale of how much? This is 190,000. So, kunin natin yung total nito, this would be 990,000. There. Now, kunin natin yung, eh, let's natin muna yung 
business expenses. So, business expenses. Yan. For how much? 914,000. Laki. So, magkano na lang yung taxable income niya? Taxable income would be 50,000. There. Okay. So, compute na natin ngayon yung ano, yung normal tax, no? Or NT. NT na lang, ha? So, this would be um, there you go. NT, this would be based on this one, 50,000 times 30%. No? So, magkano yun? So, this one is uh, 50 times 0.3. So, that would be 15,000. Now, yung MCIT, which is, uh, ano naman yan? <laughs> Pumaba yung ano, magmukanti. No? Talaga naman. Yan. And this would be um, 990,000 base dito dun sa gross, dun sa gross income. No? So, 990,000 times 2%. Okay. So, 990 times 0 0.02. So, that would be 19,000 800. So, makikita natin na mas malaki yung MCIT or the Minimum Corporate Income Tax kesa dun sa RCIT. So, ano yung magiging ano natin, tax due natin? E di yung the higher between those two, which is the MCIT. So, if you have any questions, you can just uh, write down your comments and uh, suggest any topics. No? And uh, I'll be happy to answer kung meron mga queries about it. So, stay safe. God bless. And keep your hands clean.